hitting the road in the name of good health. Shawnee State University has got a new mobile health lab that's going to help people do just that. The university's nursing program is helping people in parts of southern Ohio and eastern Kentucky, gallon for gallon, neighborhood by neighborhood, helping screen people for risk factors that really could have a direct impact on their health. The gas mileage of this big rig isn't the point. Every dollar in the tank, an investment into people's health. Probably the biggest issue we have in the region is heart disease. Maddie Burton's the nursing chair at Shawnee State University. This new mobile health lab, the latest tool in getting health care out into the community. We want to do a lot of education and a lot of screening, which is secondary care, so it is very proactive. Uh, I tease the people in the, the cardiac unit at the hospital. We're going to try to put them out of business before they even really get started. So. The unit rolling into underserved neighborhoods. Elaine Opadaka has already been once learning about stress and hypertension. We changed our eating habits um, and we also had some moved out kids move back in and so they taught us a little bit about stress management which helped a lot. So somewhere in there you got a little gray. Oh no this is natural they hadn't got to me that bad yet. Have some some extra food that's that's left over from that we couldn't get downstairs here. We have some crackers and we also have some this refried like 500 beans. people a month? 500 families a month. Okay. Nelson Claver is the assistant pastor of a church that does a huge outreach ministry. There's nothing nothing holy about a building. It's, it's the people in it that's the church. Now starting out the mobile unit partnering with the Central Baptist Church in Portsmouth. Another venue to get the health message out to people who may need it most. You can read through this, tell you th some things, you know, other information that you can use. Melvin Apodaco has already also come once, only to find out he's got high blood pressure. I didn't find out until I visited there, you know, and, and uh, it was kind of surprising because I don't think I've ever had it, and I don't know. And uh, cutting down on salt is really hard for me. Rolling down the road one neighborhood at a time and teaching a new generation of healthcare providers about a modern day twist on an old-fashioned house call. We can hear the students say, this is the first day I really feel like a nurse. So they just had a ball with it. <laughs> and more than 100 nursing students at Shawnee State will be able to take advantage of that. It will roll back into the Central Baptist Church on Thursday. Last week, they saw already about four dozen residents.